Hi, my name's Carolyn Franks, and I'm an artist. I recently started making a mix of watercolor and then using ink to add some design. And this has been my favorite thing to do in a long time, so I'm doing a ton of it. And so uh, lately I have been applying it to fashion design, which is super cool. Right now, um, my design line is called By Carolyn's Design. Today I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about what I do and why I do it and what inspires me. And I just thought connecting to the audience in this way would be really fun. So, here we go. This is my art table. It is a hot mess, but I like it that way. I have a nice view of uh, the street and the beautiful Alaskan weather, but you always have snacks and I make my very own inks, which is what all these little containers are right here. These are my homemade inks along with all my different materials and I kind of live in a chaotic, crazy, artsy world. This is Max. He's my emotional support dog and also my artistic assistant. He's the best. All right, let's get down to business. Brass tacks. How do I make it? Usually, when I first start, I start with a clean piece of watercolor paper. Follow that, I start working with the ink. This is the best part. I like to create random color within the first part of my artwork. So, I'll start with, I'll pick out two or three different colors from my custom made inks. So today I'm gonna do pink. Just gonna be some orange. So let's do this. this. Splatters. We love to start with the splatters. There's sometimes this, because I get the ink on my hands, and then there's flicking. Lots of lots of flicking like this. And so I'm actually really enjoying the colors that are there right now. So what I like to add is I love adding gold. And the gold is really cool. When you add it in at the beginning, then it slowly kind of oozes and seeps into different parts of the art as you're going. And it kind of creates this beautiful, random, sparkly form that is super fun. So I've got my handy water bottle filled with water, and this is what I like to use to disperse the color. So while the application has been pretty, pretty close to random, this part helps bleed the colors together. This is where we get our color blending in, which is super fun. And this is what causes the artwork to move. And once we're at this point, there's a lot of this. And as it's drying, sometimes we add in more color. I'm pretty content with the way this one's looking though. So now we just wait for it to dry. Once the painting is dry, then we go into drawing mode. I like to use glass bowls to trace the circles in, and this helps serve as a guide when you're drawing a mandala. So I like to start in the middle and build all the way out. And I don't pre-plan. It's mostly a sequence of patterns that I find enjoyable in that moment. So in that way, it's either very creative, but sometimes it can be pretty crazy also. My mind has to be in a certain almost meditative mode and the art just kind of flows out. You can pull inspiration from lots of awesome places like Pinterest or you could just Google search and there's a lot of things that are inspiring. And this is the final piece. I'm working through and with a small website called artofware.com. It's super cool. They do all the printing in Canada. So while it might be a little bit more expensive, it's because it's super high quality. The fabric's really nice and it takes like about two weeks for them to create each piece, which is super awesome. But as an artist, I have complete control over the designs and also how it's applied to the clothing. So when you look online at artofwear.com and you search Carolyn Franks, you see artwork that is all mine. My artwork brain baby. And it is so much fun and it is so cool. I encourage you to check it out and support a local artist.